Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, welcome back. As always, we're joined by Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling on the easy house shot. And it's all three of us together. Yay, we're Hooray. back. Uh, well, he might not celebrate it as much no, on no. that one. <laughs> well, that was his benchmark shot, So, and we knew that he was going to miss. Yeah. Because this ball is not a benchmark ball. No, not really. Even no. even for our speed dominant yeah. players. It's uh, it's just not. It it's a hook monster. Yeah. Um. So let's talk a little bit about this one. Uh. This is a new core, but a cover stock we've seen before. Yeah. The Evolution Solid Cover Stock, which was on the Evo Quantum Solid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The the green and blue the one. Green the, and blue the funky one. Yeah. One, yeah. yeah. So we already knew this thing was gonna hook. It's better. Yeah. Uh, but this new core, uh, you can see, if you take a look at actual core itself, yeah. other than having the cool crown on it, which I love they do that, Yeah. they have a crazy weight cap on the top of yeah. it. Yeah, like, is that like similar to like a flip block? It is. Yeah. And there's almost one on the bottom as well. It so looks yeah, like, like it, it too, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like they got dual, dual, multiple density going on here with the flip, flippy blocks in the air thing. But it's also got the pin on the bottom, which means we have... Dot and dynamic core. Yeah, which is awesome. So, oh, look at there him strike go. again. Now we go, yeah. Jeez. And that was two different spots, too. That, that was. Yeah. You think you think he likes this ball. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is a low RG, high differential, high mass bias core. Uh, this is a ball that is going to be good for our... Really good for our speed dominant players. Yeah. Um, because you can see he's able to get on this fresh condition, move in, yeah. and create a little bit of a finish. Yeah, and it's just continuing th through, and with that dynamic core, it's just got that pop at the end, right? Now, we're going to move him again. Even though he, he was throwing great shots where he was, we're going to move him another three boards left and just see what we can do here, yeah. kind of what what area he's got. Because you speed dominant players don't always get as much area. Look at that one. Look at that. Oh. oh, now that's just a one and one, yeah, or like, maybe a little yeah, bit of speed. speed. Yeah, so that's uh, he's got a little bit of play there. Yeah, I mean after the last two shots are really good flush, that one was right there too. So, but did you notice after he threw the two strikes, he couldn't even smile? No, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's still in the mindset to oh. throw the strikes. Right? Oh, I see what you oh. did there. Sorry. Roll no, credits. <laughs> and we got one more. We're going to keep the same place here just to see. We got him to come around, try to come around the ball a little bit more. Now, oh, that was a little bit uh, deeper. but Somewhere wow. Randy Peterson is curled up in a corner in the <laughs> fetal position. Yikes. Yeah. But that's the thing is it still gave him the pocket. Like yep. he, he didn't miss the pocket either shots. Single pin spares. Easy to move on and keep rolling, right? And here he is throwing it left-handed. And you can really, I mean, you can really see the motion, oh, how it gets through the pins there. That, that, that was a little bit of excitement. He I did know. The, the little hand whippy thing. He made the screen go blurry. <laughs> uh, now here he is with our benchmark ball, the bonus. As we always say, we use this style of ball because every company has one just like it. Yeah. Um, though this is my favorite. Yeah, of course. And there is the strike. So we're going to put uh, we're gonna put these on top of each other, and we're going to see just how this looks. It's going to be different. Yeah, do you think? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit? Just a little bit. So I want you to take a look at the distance as well. Because you can see he's inside it. But it also started up yeah. quite a bit earlier. Oh, yeah, for sure. So even though it's not benchmark, yeah, it's uh, for him, we could actually put more surface yeah, or put a stronger layout and get even more motion out oh, of it. Oh, yeah. Now, here you are. Tell me about your experience with this ball. Well, I went this shot. <laughs> <laughs> and then went okay. Uh, zone change. Zone change. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That started up. Earl, did that even yeah. make it to the hash markers? I, I think it started hooking at the first one. Yikes! Like it was. I was like, wow. <laughs> so for your regular house shot, yeah, this might be the first ball out of your bag. 
But but if I if I want to play deep, if you want to play <laughs> yeah. deep, yeah. Which I mean is an always an option to get inside guys and really mess them up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, yeah. Scoops here has learned learned how to mess with people, and now he loves doing it. Yeah. Now that right there, that was a five board left move. Yeah, and it's still it's still it's not still making hooking. hash yeah. markers. No, yeah, it's yeah, it is so strong up front. It is. It is it's a ball they made for the animal patterns. I can tell you that's yes. what they were aiming for, the high-volume sports shots Well, with you this think, ball. Uh, so. As we're recording this, I believe it was the cheetah last night. Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, there was one guy on there who was playing it, and where, while everyone else was unable to control the lanes, he was able to move right a little bit. Yeah. That was a bit better. That looked good. Yeah. Um, and get that ball not only to hook where nothing else was, but it was doing it in a very consistent way. Yeah. Oh, and that's what I found about this ball is that it's it hooks early, but it is consistent. Like you said, it's the same over and over and over again. There was no, like, if you come around it, like, which I'm going to get to do soon, it, yep. it didn't take off even more so, right? It's not like some of the balls that as soon as you push down, it, it – Becomes over under and kind yep. of it's very rolly, very continuous, very awesome. Wait, considering it's an asymmetric ball, like it's so for this shot here, we're just going to move you a one and one right just to get rid of that pesky ten pin yeah. that we saw. And uh, come on, oh. we're going to get you there. Yeah, we're going to get you there. It means we're going to just have to move you mm, one, one more. more. One Easy more. peasy. Yeah. So once again, not benchmark. No. But unlike a lot of the stronger, what we would call smooth or heavy oil balls yeah. um, f from Brunswick Brands, it's not a ball that's like real slow and real early and just no. kind of blah. No, it does get through. Like you can see it get through. It just picks up right in the mids. Yep. So and yeah, it's not like the other ones were like hook at your feet kind of thing. Or and not that, you know, there is... There is wow. a spot for those shots, Yo, and that yeah. was beautiful. Yeah. Um, there is a spot for those balls. You want those yeah. slow balls that don't really react um, when you need to get above urethane, yeah. but don't need something as fast as you know some of the other things we see. Oh, yeah. This is more of, I need the ball to find traction, and I need it to keep hooking. Yeah. That was awesome. Like, I haven't seen you it, throw a shot that's really rolled out. No. At all. Yeah, and that's the thing is, yeah, it's very... Yeah, it's it, it keeps on going. It doesn't stop, right? That's a big thing. Agreed. Yeah. And here you are with the bonus. God, that's pretty. That's so good. <laughs> Such a good ball. And it's like, why don't you just throw the bonus? Well, well, we you can't would. always <laughs> throw the bonus. <laughs> no. Now, here you are comparing it, the mindset and the bonus, and this is why. There are times when the bonus is just too smooth. We yeah. talked about that, the smooth, slow balls that you yeah. want to control the pocket. That was uh, yeah. three feet earlier, yeah. about eight or ten boards stronger. Yeah. Lots of hook. Yeah, and that's what I mean. The bonus is going to be good, but it's not going to work as well when you need to get inside. That's right. right? It's going to roll out. It's going to do the things we talked about. Now, look at this. Yeah, we got access to two. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> we got access to two of these mindsets, um, and uh, I had to drill one up. Two-handed. Yeah. I had to. Uh, that one there, obviously, you can see I spun that one a little bit, so that doesn't yeah. really count. Um, but it's good to know that, I mean, I can shim it a little bit. Yeah. Well, and that's what we talked about, just it not being too much. Yeah. Like, if you did that, it it it's didn't take off off the back end as soon as it saw friction, and it didn't um, roll out on you either because it was trying to, to fight it, right? So Yeah. It, it, it still got into a roll, which, thank goodness... Now, here I am here. That's better. That's pretty. Yeah. Now, I went with a different layout than, than you guys. Yeah. Um, you went with stronger layouts to get you a little bit more hook, a little bit more pop to the pocket. Yeah. As a two-handed bowler, apparently I don't need help hooking the ball. No. Um, so I went with a short pin, m more hook layout. If you looked at the uh, PAL numbers that we put yeah. up there. Uh, it's one that's going to allow it to uh, not be quite as long as a regular short pin, 
but it's still going to retain a little bit of tilt and have a strong uh, reaction down lane. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Like that. That's what I was going to say. It, it just kind of smooths it out that little bit more. For a ball that's already smooth, it's just taking it a little bit further. Absolutely. next level. Now, since I made the move to two-handed, I've noticed that a lot of the stronger stuff that I used to enjoy playing, I find can be too strong. Yeah. So I was really worried about the mindset. And this short, uh, shorter pin, more hook layout has really turn this ball into something that I can use anytime. Yeah. Well, and that's what we talked about it many of times, and we always bring it up, and you bring it up more than anybody, about there is no such thing as a bad ball anymore. That's right. It's just the ball that fits the shot that's out there right now. Right? Whoops, I missed that one a little bit. Come Perfect. on! <sighs> yeah, it was me. Yeah. yeah. See, But you still got nine. Yeah. And that's what I mean. It's, you know. Did you see that? That was a bowler taking responsibility for a bad shot. Oh, my gosh. That I doesn't know. happen. That's on video. Yeah, it's on video. <laughs> Bookmark that section. That's right. Um, I was very surprised with this. As I said, I didn't think I was going to be able to throw it. No. And this is very playable for me. I was quite impressed watching you play it in league the couple times you I saw before the video. Yep. And... It, that it wasn't taking out the seventh pin. I thought for sure. Just oh, for sure. For everything that I've read and saw about it before we got to throw it, it was just like, wow. I'm just going to keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. Wee! That was a bit better, yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, that's okay. Well, you Can are, like, really far left now. I mean, you were striking before, so. So let's check out. I always like looking at the left-handed version of yeah. this. I just, I see the motion off the end of the pattern much better. And watch this thing come off the end. Bruh! Yeah. That went out over the nine pin. That had so much continuation. Yeah. And, and it's, you got to also remember, people, this isn't a, not a symmetric ball. It's an asymmetric ball. Yeah. So that type of hook is a such smaller window that it's taking, right? Now, here I am with my Rattler instead of the bonus. Uh, I'm going to have to drill myself a bonus, I think, as a benchmark ball. If I, you can get one. I just, I, I'm going to have to open my, my stash. Yeah. But uh, the Rattler is close yeah. enough to the bonus that I really like it. And now I'm going to put it up, and you're going to see, watch this. Watch the distance and watch the different type of motion. You can see the Rattler I played much more direct. Yeah. Where the mindset I was able to open up the lane much more and get a l actually a little bit more continuation out of an asymmetric. Yeah. That's nuts. So all in all, I think you said it best you yeah. got to be in the right mindset to strike and uh, this ball gets you there thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show so until next time guys we'll see you lane side